very important topic in the Bible, probably for two or three Sundays, okay, the upcoming Sundays, today maybe, and two more Sundays, I'll be preaching from a specific uh, topic, and the topic is um, the Christian worship, the Christian worship, or Christia Aradhana, in the Lavishate Kruchana, and that is from Romans chapter 12 verse 1. And we know that we all are worshippers and we all are worshipping every day, every moment, especially on Sundays. But the thing is, we should know something about the biblical concept or biblical perspective about the worship and knowing that and and worshiping god will be a great blessing for each person those who are coming for the worship service and the people those who have accepted jesus as their personal uh, savior so prayerfully let us sit in the presence of god uh, this uh, i mean morning also we know that uh, this topic is a is a is a vast subject and uh, it could be preached maybe hours and hours right so we can preach about worship maybe how many sundays no i don't know how many sundays we can preach about worship because we know many things about worship and we have many references in the bible about worship but the thing is you know we are going into the heart of this topic okay and we just wanted to know that men the worshipers the people those who are worshiping god are worshiping uh, god the almighty god in truth and spirit amen so um, you know uh, the, the 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 topic worship um, is the theme um, uh, uh, from the from the bible that you can see uh, from even from the genesis to the revelation when there are many 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 references which is talking about the worship from uh, genesis to revelation and we know that uh, there are various concepts and uh, uh, ideas about the worship among the uh, the religious people uh, especially in the christendom you know in christendom itself we have many denominations right we have many denominations and we have many organizations and churches different and uh, uh, different churches are believing in uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a separate uh, worship system and uh, they are following different styles of worship and system of worship and kinds of worship so uh, the thing is you know when we are coming for the worship service and even when we are at home we just wanted to know that what is worship man so even though there are many denominations in the christendom um, as we are the believers and as we are the children of god we are going to look into the portion that how we should worship god amen and i would like to uh, speak about uh, maybe different uh, elements or different aspects or different dimensions of the christian uh, worship because we know that um, uh, uh, one of the main aspect of uh, this topic is uh, the reasons of worship okay you know that the reasons of worship that is the first uh, I mean thing that we are always uh, uh, meditating and we are always preaching about right the reasons of worship that means why we are worshiping okay and most of the time when we are I mean uh, reading Psalms and encouraging from the Psalms and uh, uh, some other occasions also uh, we are taking uh, some of the Psalms, Psalms which is uh, uh, encouraging us to uh, worship God and we are saying why should we worship God and also the reasons okay 10,000 reasons there is a song also right there is a song also that why why we are worshiping God 10,000 reasons okay not only 10,000 reasons more than that there are many reasons but when I mean, we are taking only 10,000 reasons okay but anyway you know uh, we have to know that that only is not the important thing regarding worship then that means the the reasons of worship only is not the important thing about worship there are many more things that we are going to I mean, study uh, from from uh, the the i mean uh, from this topic okay so the things that are the which is uh, the points which is very important and also which is very closely related to the christian worship okay the things which is on the topic and the headlines or sublines which is very closely related to the uh, uh, theme that christian worship is this that what is worship 
So I'll be trying to cover all these portions, maybe in the coming uh, weeks, maybe in the coming Sundays. Okay, so we'll try for that. I don't know how much I'll be able to do that, but I mean, I know that I mean we'll be uh, I mean trying to cover all these I mean portions, the the, the main headings. Okay, these are the main portions that we are going to um, I mean uh, I mean uh, focus uh, in the upcoming Sundays. And what is worship? If I ask a question that what is worship, then you have many answers, right? You have many answers. I know that you have many answers uh, uh, on the basis of many, uh, I mean, Bible verses. But, you know, we are going to look into maybe one or two things from the Bible that what is worship? Then, what is not the worship? You have to know that. What is worship? And what is not the worship? And who to worship? Huh? Whom to worship? The origin and progress of human worship? And how should we worship? And also the Old Testament system and its spiritual relevance and also the earthly worship and heavenly worship okay so these are the main topics that we are going to I mean discuss maybe in the coming days and uh, we have to pray for that so that God will speak to us every one of us that I mean how we are worshiping and to whom that we have to give our worship and honor and, and glory and how to worship and also what is the origin and progress of the human worship in the Bible and in the human in the human history and we have to know that there are many references in the Old Testament that many events that uh, the people of God they were worshiping God and we have to understand what is the spiritual relevance to those I mean Old Testament events in the Bible I mean so the question comes like this how many times the word worship is mentioned in Bible who knows how many times the word worship is mentioned in the Bible I know I will not get the clear answer but even I also don't know about that but I believe and some of the the, 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 the preachers have said that I meant more than 500 times Okay. More than 500 times there are mentioning about uh, the, the word, I mean, uh, worship in the Bible. And second question, where in the Bible the word worship is mentioned first? That I may get the answer from you, yeah. From the book of Genesis, where? The chapter or related to what? Cain and Abel, Abel and Canaan. Okay, any other answer? Hmm? Melchizedek, Melchizedek. Okay. Think about that. You are sitting in the church, right? You are sitting here. The presence of God is here. The pastor is standing here. So think about what is worship and where the word worship is mentioned in the Bible first. Somebody said in the, during the, about Melchizedek and someone said uh, uh, when uh, Cain and Abel they were worshipping God that worship word is uh, I mean, uh, mentioned there. But actually you are right. But at the same time the word worship is not there. Okay, The word worship is not there. About Cain and Abel we know that uh, um, you know some scholars are saying that okay, Cain and Abel were going for an offering just for offering something it was not a worship some scholars says that okay so I don't believe that okay I believe that uh, it was actually a worship that they were doing Cain and Abel going for a worship service okay it's, a, it's, a, it's a, just like a sacrifice or offering but it was a worship at the same time the word is not written there the worship the word is not written there at the same time in Genesis chapter 22 verse 5 you will read that verse or and uh, you will see the word worship in Genesis chapter 22 uh, verse 5 there I mean Abraham said to his servants what was that stay here with the donkey I and the lad or Isaac will go over there and we will worship and return to you okay so that is the first verse that you can see in the Bible the word worship that means for speech. Okay, even before that also, you can see there are many things written in Bible, even in the Genesis also, and about uh, the Melchizedek or the Cain and Abel and all those things. I mean, so even there 
it is written not the worship but they were calling the name of the Lord it is written there the, they were calling the name of the Lord that means that is actually worship but the exact word worship is not written there that's the reason I said when it was I mean the first verse is uh, Abraham when he was uh, uh, saying to his servants when uh, he was going for sacrificing his uh, son Isaac okay so he was going to the Moria the, the mountain of Moria and uh, uh, he said to his servants that stay here uh, with the donkey and I and my son Isaac will go to that mountain and there and we will worship God and we will return back so this is actually an expectation that um, Abraham was going to the more the mountain of Moria and he was uh, uh, going to sacrifice his son Isaac then he was saying we will come back okay we will come back means you know he was expecting and he had a faith in God that he will not lose his son but he was ready to kill and ready to sacrifice his own son has been waiting for 25 years and he got the son and now he is ready to obey the commandment of God that is actually the the worship you know obeying the word of God obeying the word of God and obeying God is the worship actually so that is what uh, we are seeing in that portion that uh, Abraham is saying uh, to his servant and again where is the first word worship appears in the New Testament the first word appears in the New Testament. Where? Matthew 2. Correct, correct. Matthew 2. To whom, who said, or to whom they said, wise men. Ah, wise men to Herod. Herod the king at the palace of Herod. And uh, in maybe uh, Matthew chapter 2 verse 2, the wise men uh, were saying that we have come to worship him. Okay, We have come to worship him because we saw the star in the sky of Jesus Christ and we have come to worship him. So this is the first mention of the word worship I mean, in the New Testament. And again, you know, someone said like this, there is no God, I mean, there is no God without worship listen there is no god without worship okay that means if you are just avoiding or i mean taking out the worship then there is no god okay we have many religions right we have many religions in this world and uh, every religion they are always i mean uh, encouraging the people to worship god right okay the, the God means you know they have their own God and God or goddesses or somebody but anyway all the religions are encouraging the people to worship God worship God worship God or offer something or sacrifice something do something and that is the worship and they say okay but we are coming to the point that there is no God without worship there is no Bible without the worship okay if you have a Bible with you I mean it's full of worship Okay, it's full of worship. There are many, 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 I mean, uh, mentionings and occurrences about the worship in the Bible that you are supposed to worship God, you are supposed to worship God, you are supposed to worship the true God, and all those things. And there is no religion without worship. That means every religion are promoting the people to worship their God. And there is no Christianity without worship. There is no Christianity without worship means the Christianity is all about the worship, right? Okay, so why we are coming to the church every Sunday? Huh? To worship God, right? We are coming to the church to worship God, to worship God, to worship God. Okay, so when we are gathering together, maybe in a house or in Zoom, wherever it may be, we are worshiping God. Okay, we are worshiping God. We are singing song, we are worshiping God. When you are praying, we are worshiping God. Man, when you are preaching, you are worshipping God. I still, I still know that you know, when I am preaching from here, you are worshipping God, right? No? No? You are worshipping, right? You are saying hallelujah? You are saying praise the Lord? Say once again praise the Lord? Say once again hallelujah? Say once again stotram? Stotram? Hallelujah? Because you are worshipping God. When we are singing songs, you are worshipping God. When I mean somebody is reading a psalm, you're worshiping God. I mean, when somebody is singing songs, they're worshiping God. You're worshiping God. 
when somebody is mound into the offering bag what are you doing hey you worshiping god <laughs> that's a worship that's a part of worship men you know most of the time the people are thinking only singing songs is the worship no never bible never says that only singing only singing songs is not at all a worship when we are singing worshiping god when we are doing something we are worshiping god even i told you that when we are offering something in the offering bag also you are offering something right for the name of the lord and you are just remembering oh lord you gave me everything and i'm just offering out of that okay it is not i mean uh, you know you made it but only god given i say so god gave you something and you were out of your out of that blessing you are offering to the lord so when you are offering something to the lord that also is a worship i mean so that's the reason you know many a times when we are gathering together in the presence of god and we do not know what is the importance of the worship we say that we are going to the church and we are going to the fellowship in a house and we are going for a wednesday bible study, sorry friday bible study and we are saying that i mean wednesday we we have the prayer meeting but we don't worship god because we don't understand what is the what is the importance of the worship I mean so you know most of the time i mean sometimes we do everything but we forgot to worship god right i can say that from from today's experience let me ask you one thing let me ask you one thing you know everything is happening here the worship team was i mean uh, singing songs prayer was there in the beginning then worship team was singing songs then after that testimonies were there and and what ah uh, i mean children uh, sunday school kids they were sharing their memory verses then now i am preaching okay even then there are somebody those who haven't worship today can you lift your hands you didn't worship the lord today <laughs> i know you will not lift your hands but i know that there are many people there are many people they are coming to the church they are singing songs but they are doing many things there but they are not worshiping god you know sometimes you know we sing songs but we don't worship god we lead the worship but we don't sing and we don't worship god and sometimes that happens the people those who are leading the songs they are not worshiping simply they are singing they are singing you no know, singing S just singing is not a worship okay so when you are singing from your heart when you are singing from your heart okay and that is worship hallelujah and you know there are people listening the songs and they don't worship no i notice many times in our church also you know when the the worship team is leading the songs and they are singing the, and they are, they are leading the songs when many of the people are sitting like this hey what are these guys are doing and they are thinking hey, what what who who are singing today who are singing today and who is that person and what is the dress that she is wearing or what is the what is the what is the, what is the shirt that that brother is I mean, wearing when he is singing and when all those things that we are singing right right no no hello hello you are here you are here okay you know most of the time what is happening you know the 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 the, the, the worship team is singing and they are leading but the, the other people you know the english songs are sung here right no the english songs are sung here and most of the people knows english right you know english and why you are not singing that song even especially to the children let me tell you you know youngsters and children you know it is sure that okay you are not singing here okay the children are not standing here and singing okay and all the youngsters are not able to i mean come here and sing in in in, in one sunday okay the alternately they will be changing but at the same time you know english and the english songs are there in the slide in the screen and you can look into that song and sing that song i have seen many times the children are simply standing there and i mean the children are doing something else and drawing something or thinking about many things and they are discussing many things during the time of worship hello 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 praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah children you say praise the lord praise the lord loudly loudly praise the lord that is the praise the lord 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, you have to know that, you know, the songs that we are singing, and it is you to sing that song, not only the worship team. So that's the reason I said, many a times we are singing song or listening to the song, but we are not worshipping God. We are not worshipping God. We are listening to messages and we are listening to the sermon, but we are not worshipping God. We are listening to the testimony, but we are not worshipping God. When a person is say, sharing his testimony or her testimony, that the Lord delivered me from the accident you know when sophia was uh, sharing that testimony that uh, uh, her parents were delivered from the accident yesterday she was i mean talking to us that okay it was a dangerous thing that uh, when they had to go through that uh, i mean situation but god delivered them god delivered them so when a person is i mean sharing his testimony i mean we have to thank god thank god thank god and also when we are putting our offering we have to i mean worship god and also sometimes we don't worship when we do something okay and when we receive the benediction you know that when we receive the benediction from the pastor, many of us are many of us are not worshiping God. Eh? We are thinking, oh, benediction is by pastor. So, what, is, what can I do with that? Okay, no. When you are receiving the benediction, what is the benediction? May the love of Father, grace of Son Jesus Christ, communion of Holy Spirit, be with us and you forever and ever. Is there anything to praise the name of the Lord for that? Hello? Is there anything to think about the presence of God, the grace of God, the love of God, hallelujah, the provision of God, the care of God. So when you listen to a benediction of a pastor, of a minister of God, you have to think about, oh, I am thanking God for that benediction even. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And there are many things to know when we do an individual worship and also the public worship. Okay. Okay. We'll think about that. You know, there are many things that we should know when we are individually worshiping God. So we used to individually worship God, no? Huh? At home, when we are sitting alone and you are worshipping God, just praying and you just started with a prayer and uh, I mean, maybe, you know, I don't know, you have the, uh, the experience of, uh, uh, I mean, singing songs when you are sitting alone for prayer meeting, for prayer, for prayer. Have you, have you ever, I mean, experienced that one? You know, you may be sitting alone and just, I mean, started to pray. Alone you are praying, but at the same time, I mean, you are you, you, you are thinking that, okay, okay, oh Lord, I mean, I'm sitting in the presence of God alone, and I'm praying, 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 and that prayer will go to a, another song, and you will sing one song, the next song, the next song, and worshipping in tongues and everything, and you are worshipping God alone. That is the individual worship, when you are alone. But public worship is there. That is what we are doing here in the church. I mean, in public worship, we have many things to remember. We have to, I mean, we have to think about the, I mean, congregational worship or public worship. I mean, when we are gathering together, you know, you cannot do whatever you think or whatever, I mean, you feel. But we are considering all of the people, those who are sitting here, and we are worshipping God. Even you are worshipping with the Spirit of God, right? Okay? And the Spirit of the Lord will guide you when the worship is going on here, when the preaching is going on here, when the testimony is going on there, and when you are offering the, I mean, I mean something in the offering bag, I mean, the, the Spirit of the Lord will encourage you, the Spirit of the Lord will enable you to worship the Lord at every time, at every time. Hallelujah. And next question is, what is worship? What is worship? Okay, so worship is a matter of human expression towards God from our inner experience. <clears throat> what is worship? Worship is a matter of human expression towards God. So we are expressing our experiences, our gratitude towards God because we have the inner experience. 
Amen. So, when you listen uh, that a person is saying, Praise the Lord, Hallelujah, Stotram, or something, I mean, don't think that okay, that person is simply saying, Praise the Lord, simply saying, Hallelujah, simply saying, Praise the Lord, or Stotram. No. It is coming from? It is coming from? His inner heart. So when you have I mean, an experience in your inner heart and that is the matter of human expression towards God. That means when you are sitting in the presence of God, when you are worshipping God, when you are listening to the sermon and you are thinking about God's mercy. Hallelujah. You are thinking and you are remembering the faithfulness of God. You are remembering about the mercy of God, love of God, grace of God and you are thanking God. That's the reason I said worship is a matter of human expression towards God from the inner experience. And also the expression of their emotions may be different. No? Some people are doing something and they are showing their expression in a different way. No? For example, let me tell you one thing. <coughs> you have listened, uh, I mean, uh, some of the people, when, when we are singing songs, okay, when we are singing songs, even when somebody is preaching there, somebody lifting their hands and praise the Lord, hallelujah, sotram, paradhi ati tere. Okay, what are the person you want to drink? Audience in the rakyo na, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Why? He is expressing, he is expressing his inner experience and he says that I am thanking God because I remember that God has given me the blessings. Hallelujah. 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 When you remember what the Lord has done for you, you cannot keep quiet in the presence of God. You will say hallelujah. Don't blame that person because he is loudly saying hallelujah, praise the Lord. No worries. No worries. Let them do that. Hallelujah. When somebody is lifting their hands and praising God, don't blame them. Okay, don't blame them. Some people are jumping and some people are dancing. Hallelujah. Some people are clapping their hands and praising God. Hands and praising God. Some people are kneeling down in the presence of God, lifting their hands and praising the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That also could be done. I mean, that is the expression of that person. The emotions which is coming inside the heart and that is coming out as a clapping hands or lifting hands or jumping or dancing or I mean, clapping hands or kneeling down in the presence of God. Because we read in Bible, there are many people bow down in the presence of God when they remembered the greatness of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You can do anything on the basis of the Bible. You can express your emotion. You can express what is there in your heart when you are worshipping. Don't think that, okay, uh, what, the, what the other people will be thinking. Okay. If you are in the spirit, if you are in the spirit, I mean, you may be speaking in tongues when you are, I mean, when you are worshipping. Don't blame that person because he is filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and he is preaching or he is I mean, speaking in other tongue. He has the power. I mean, don't blame that person. Don't tell anything about that person because that person is filled with the Holy Spirit and connecting his spirit or her spirit with the spirit of God. Hallelujah. 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 You and me are not nobody to blame any person here. Because, I mean, every person's experience is different. Every person's are doing whatever they feel in their heart. Hallelujah. And they are worshipping according to the things that they received from the Lord. They may lift their hands. Let them clap their hands. They may kneel down in the presence of God. When they may when jump in the presence of God. They may dance in the presence of God. Whatever it may be. Let everything, everything be bring glory unto the name of the Lord. <clears throat> what do you think about the style of the worship? What do you think about the style of the worship? Hmm? 
in what style we should worship God what type of worship that we we should offer in the presence of God what do you think you know there are mention about the style of worship in the new testament right okay the style of worship is not important but the heart of worship is important can you say one hallelujah for that you have to see hallelujah when I say that point, you know. No, the worship, the worship, you know, we are the people always worshipping, 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 right? But the thing is, you know, the style of the worship is not important, but the heart of the worship is important. Because New Testament always speaking to the heart of a person. When I was taking the classes for the adult this morning, I was telling always Bible, the Bible verses, God and the Holy Spirit and everything is working together with the heart of a person, right? The heart of a person. You know, your body is not that important for God. Huh? Your body is not that important for God, but God is looking into the heart of a worship and heart of a worshipper. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When God is looking into the heart of a worshipper, when God would say that, okay, this person is a good worshipper in the sight of God. When you, you know the, I mean, you know the, uh, I mean, even the, which happened uh, uh, in, the, in the life of Cain and Abel. Right? Cain also brought something in the presence of God. Abel also brought something in the presence of God to offer. Actually, the, 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 the worship is a, Worship is an offering something, no? Offering something in the presence of God. That is worship actually. Okay? Offering our life. Okay. okay. We read that. Did we read that verse? Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Oh my God. I forgot that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Read that verse. Yeah. Romans chapter 12 verse 1. I, I was supposed to tell you, ask you to read that verse in the beginning. But I forgot that. Okay. Read that verse. Uh. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, sister. Okay, therefore I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. This is actually the New Testament worship. No, many times we are giving preference for for the activities or how we are doing that or the style of the worship and all those things but New Testament never says that okay you should be doing this in that way you should be doing this way but in the Old Testament in the Old Testament they gave God gave something like you know in a pattern of the worship pattern of worship when you have to worship like this and you have to do this when you are worshiping and you have to be in that place and this place when you are worshiping God okay you know that it is there Read that uh, Psalm number uh, uh, 68, <coughs> verse 25. Okay, Malaratil and Danaria Mawakim Sangi the car Wimble Narano Pine Tapugutan Nawakim Sangi the car Wimble Narano Vina car Pinble Narano in English it is written ah, what is that in English read that verse Listen to that verse. You know, in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, they had a system of worship. Okay, you have to do like this, and that is the, the real worship. And God gave them that system. Okay, that it was it was very clearly written. And they were doing that. The singers were supposed to walk in front, and musicians at the back of that congregation, and the middle of them, the young women were playing the tambourine or timbrels. Okay, and then a tapuutta, and then tapar yawa. Hmm? Timbrels, yeah? Timbrels. Who has the timbrel now? 
in your house yes yes i know i i i got it uh, sometimes you know uh, when we were having the fasting prayer endha varayam chinjil ille chinjil hmm chinjil ingane chamber okay so adu tappu kottu appo i altars make in the altars men there were many many system that you have to stand here and you have to stand here and uh, the, the 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 people those who are the musicians and the and the, and the players should be there and that and all those things were there in the old testament but that doesn't mean that in the new testament we don't have any system do you think that you have a t- system in the new testament you have a t- system a system of worship in the new testament ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ നിൽക്കുന്നത് നിങ്ങൾ ആൻസർ പറഞ്ഞില്ലെങ്കിൽ സിസ്റ്റം വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ സിസ്റ്റം വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ സിസ്റ്റം യു ബോഡി ഈസ് ദർ ലിവിംഗ് സാക്രിഫൈസ് ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് ദെൻ ഓഫർ ഓഫർ എവ്രിത്തിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് റീഡ് ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് റോമൻ സപ്റ്റൽ ട്വൽവ് വേഴ്സ് വൺ ഓക്കെ പ്രസന്റ് യു ബോഡീസ് present your bodies in the presence of god and living and holy sacrifice you know what is the importance of a body in worship <laughs> so here comes the here comes the problem you know some people are saying that okay, even though i am not coming to the church i am worshiping god even though i am not coming to the church i am worshiping god it is written there when you are worshiping your body must be presented there as a living sacrifice think about the Cain and Abel amen the, 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 the person the Abel was bringing something which is living in the presence of God he was offering that you know living sacrifice means you know there should be a life in our worship hello hello if you are worshiping god silently you also no problem but there should be a life in your worship jeevan oda vende nammal kartavane aaradhikkan vende eh oru jeevan vende nammal aaradhanayile hallelujah when you know how much the the, the worship is worship team is struggling here to make you to sing the songs or to make you to worship god avaru kada nammal kashtapadu nammal kandittille endha നമ്മളൊന്ന് ആരാധിച്ച് കാണാ കാണാൻ വേണ്ടി അവരെന്ത് ചെയ്യാ നമ്മളിങ്ങനെ ബൂസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാ ബൂസ്റ്റിങ് 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 എൻകറേജിങ് വൈ വൈ ലെറ്റ് ദം സീ ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ വർഷിപ്പിംഗ് ഗോഡ് വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ലൈഫ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് പ്രസന്റ് പ്രസന്റ് യുവർ ബോഡി ഇൻ ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ആസ് ലിവിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഹോളി സാക്രിഫൈസ് and that means our body should be holy in the presence of God when we are worshiping the people those who are not making holy themselves and the people those who are not washed by the blood of Jesus Christ and the people those who are not examining the personal life and the presence of God are not eligible to worship God because God doesn't want a worship of a person who is not clear and pure in the presence of God that's what we read about abel and cain bible very clearly says in genesis chapter 4 about their offering what what is that you know it, it is not written that uh, what what was that verse uh, uh, chapter 4 verse verse um yes and uh, okay in uh, thank you uh, amy and uh, and chapter 4 verse 4 it is written that um uh, and the lord had regard for abel and for her for his offering okay endana ahabelilum ah avante 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 yag avante vadivadilum devam prasadichu pin adutha sentence endo eh kainilum avante aaradhanayilum devam prasadichilla okay listen you know what is the, what is the difference between when he pleased in abel and he did not please in cain he pleased in abel first then the second sentence is then 
he pleased in the offering of Abel. He did not please in the life of Cain. Then the second sentence is, he did not please in the offering of Cain. What is the meaning of that? You know, God is looking always for a person, how much holy that person is and how much holy or how much pure that person in the presence of God, the purity of the, of the life of a person, God is looking and saying, I mean, first of all, I want to be pleasing in you, then your offering. This is very important to understand the people of God this morning. That then we are coming for the worship service. Let us say that, oh Lord, I am committing my, my life in the presence of God. And I know, Lord, that, oh Lord, I mean, you are pleasing in my life first, then my offering. Okay? Don't bring your offering, don't bring your worship to the Lord. I mean, before, I mean, I mean before submitting your, your, your life. You know, you know. The one thing, let me tell you. When we are coming for the worship service, I mean, first of all, you have to do. You surrender your life. Okay, surrender your life. Okay, I mean, just examine your life and say, God, Lord, I'm coming to. I'm, I'm coming to your presence, oh Lord. Cleanse me, oh Lord, once again. I have many. I mean, ma made many mistakes, oh Lord, and I have many shortcomings, oh Lord. I have many weakness of Father, Lord. I mean, cleanse me, oh God. Cleanse me, oh God, once again with the blood of Jesus Christ, oh Father. Hallelujah. And when we you pray that you are getting the cleansing, then worship God. Then worship God. That is real. I mean, worship. Okay, even though there is no system very clearly written in the New Testament, we understand in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 40 that let everything be done decently and in order. Read that. Did you read that verse in Bible? Let everything be done decently and in order. Okay, listen. You know, is there in the Bible that written that uh, when you are singing songs or when you are worshipping God, you should keep your organ in the right place, right side, and your guitar in the left side, and the drum set at the middle of your worship I mean, a team, and you must stand behind the podium, is it written in the Bible? In the New Testament? No. No, it is not written there. You know, and, and it is not written there. Okay, you have to keep your organ this side and keep that, uh, I mean, uh, guitar this side and uh, the drums should be here and you have to stand here and you have to hold one mic and sing through the mic only. Don't sing without mic. It is not written there. But we are doing this system only because everything be done decently and orderly. Hallelujah. So this is worship actually. My dear friends, we are doing that. We are doing that in a, in a system. Arrangement system. And, and sometimes, you know, we are doing that just for attracting the people, right? You know, just for, I mean, arranging everything for att attracting the people. You know, we have uh, the VBS 29th and 30th this week. And Jesse was asking me, okay, we, we need to get that hall by morning on 29th. For what? Decorating. Decorating, arranging. In order to what? Two things are there. <laughs> In order to attract the people. Let the children come. Okay? And we have a flyer also. Regarding that VBS. Why? Why? Attracting the people. That's true. That's right. We have to do that. At the same time, everything that we are doing should be according to the word of God. And everything be done decently and in order. Okay, so that's the reason that we are doing all those things and arranging, arranging all these things at the same time. The real worship of a Christian, the real worship of a, of a believer is that, I mean, presenting his body as a living and holy sacrifice acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. Let us bring ourselves in the hands of God, even though you are worshipping alone. Okay? In an individual worship also, and in the public worship also, I mean the congregational worship also, whatever it may be, I mean bringing your body and your spirit in the presence of God and saying, oh Lord, I am nothing in front of you. Father, and, and worship, and there are many, 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 lot of things are there to share with you, I mean, but there is no time today, but we will be, I mean, sharing all those things and discussing all those things in the coming Sunday. So let's pray together. Let's surrender our life in the presence of God. And Thank you, Master. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
പരിശുദ്ധനായ ഞങ്ങൾ ദൈവമേ സ്വർഗീയ നല്ല ദൈവമേ ഈ നല്ല മനോഹരമായ ദൈവമേ സമയത്തിനായ നന്ദിയോട് സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്ന കർത്താവെ ഒരു പ്രാവശ്യം കൂടി സഭായോഗമായ നിന്റെ സന്നിധാനത്തിൽ നിന്റെ മക്കളായി ഞങ്ങൾ ഒരുമിച്ച് കൂടുവാൻ കർത്താവെ അല്ലേ ലുയ നല്ല പാട്ടുകൾ പാടി അങ്ങനെ മഹത്വപ്പെടുത്തുവാൻ എല്ലാം ഞങ്ങൾ സഹായിച്ചല്ലോ കർത്താവെ അല്ലേ ലുയ നിന്റെ വചനത്തിലൂടെ കർത്താവെ അവിടുത്തെ ദാസനോട് കേൾപ്പിച്ച് നല്ല വചനങ്ങൾക്കാ ഞങ്ങൾ അങ്ങ് സ്തുതിക്കുന്ന സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്ന കർത്താവെ ഞങ്ങൾ നിന്റെ സ്ഥലിൽ കടന്നു വന്നിരിക്കുക ആരാധനയ്ക്കായിട്ടാണല്ലോ കർത്താവെ ആ മീൻ ആരാധനയിലെ പ്രകാരമായിരിക്കുന്നുള്ള ദാസനോട് കേൾപ്പിച്ച കർത്താവെ ഞങ്ങൾ കേൾപ്പിച്ചല്ലോ കർത്താവെ ആരാധിക്കേണ്ടത് നിന്റെ വചനത്തിന് മുന്നിൽ ഞങ്ങളെ തന്നെ താഴ്ത്തുന്ന കർത്താവെ ഞങ്ങളെ തന്നെ വിനയപ്പെടുത്തുന്ന കർത്താവെ അല്ലേ ലുയ നീ ചെയ്യുന്ന ഉപകാരങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒത്തവണ്ണം ആമി നന്ദിയുള്ളവരായി നന്ദിയുള്ള ഹൃദയത്തോടെ ഞങ്ങൾ ആരാധിപ്പാത്തക്കോണം നീ ഞങ്ങൾ സഹായിക്കണം ഞങ്ങൾ ദൈവത്തോട് ഞങ്ങൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു നിന്റെ സന്നി ഞങ്ങളെ തന്നെ താഴ്ത്തുന്ന ദാ നിന്റെ വചനത്തും ഞങ്ങളെ തന്നെ താഴ്ത്തുകയാണ് ഹാലേ ലുയ നിന്റെ ദാസനെ പ്രത്യേകമായി ബലപ്പെടുത്തി ഓർ സ്ത്രോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്ന കർത്താവ് അടുത്ത ദിവസങ്ങളിൽ കർത്താവെ ഹല്ലേ ലുയ്യ ആമീൻ ആരാധനയുടെ മഹത്വം ഹല്ലേ ലുയ്യ നിന്റെ സന്നിൽ താവേ ആമി ഞങ്ങൾ ഏറ്റെടുത്തുകൊണ്ട് നിന്നെ ആരാധിപ്പാന്തക്കോണം ഞാൻ ഞങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരെയും സഹായിക്കണം ദൈവത്തോട് ഞങ്ങൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നു ഇത്രത്തോളം ഞങ്ങൾ സഹായിച്ചനായി സ്ത്രോത്രം നിന്റെ സന്നിൽ കടന്ന് നല്ല പ്രിയപ്പെട്ടവർക്കായി സ്ത്രോത്രം 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 സമ്പൂർണമായി താഴ്ന്നു പ്രാർത്ഥനാടനായി സ്ത്രോത്രം യേശു ക്രിസ്തുവിൻ നാമത്തിൽ പിതാവേ Hallelujah praise the Lord now